Now, if you're a person that makes statements about somebody else, usually negative statements about people that are successful, you're going to be called a hater. It's a fact of life. It's almost on principle now. That's sort of like the label. And there's a lot of problems with that. <clears throat> shit, like... This thing contracted and shit because of all this sparkling seltzer water. I, I'm not going to try to make an endorsement. I don't want to get flagged by the company. Because they don't like... Free endorsements and shit, but... Uh, whatever. Odds are... Is if you're a guy like me that usually has something bad to say about somebody else, you're going to be labeled a hater. And in my case, because I'm really cynical, I've been labeled a hater a lot of the times. Almost every fucking day. And there's a problem with this statement. First one is going to be obvious. This is straight out denial. I'm not a fucking hater. I'm not. I don't fucking hate. Am I a judgmental person? Yes. You're gonna hear this a million times in your life. If you're a human being on this earth, people are gonna look at you, the way you dress, the way you walk, the way you speak, and they're gonna make judgments. Now, a lot of people hate on me in that case. So does that mean that other people are haters? To me? Well, not really. I mean, there's more to it than just being judgmental in a negative way. You see, haters actually have a purpose in human society. Not as much the non-monogamous animal kingdom. In civilization, haters fulfill a purpose. Refreshing. Cool Keith got it going on, man. I learned that shit from Cool Keith, 98 year old refrigerator. Check that video. Regardless, their purpose is essentially to get rid of the Omegas. The kind of people we call alphas. The guys that fuck 100 girls, 200 girls. Those people that claim that they're successful because of that, but they're actually creating dege a degenerate society. And this is actually very common in third world countries. I'm not talking about third world countries where everybody's dying, but just normal third world countries. Not the ones with genocide going on. Where you got these people that are seen more advanced civilizations, not the ones in decline, like the places Roosh goes to, there's fucking haters. Hell, in the US, there's haters too. They're called white people. Because white people get mad when, like, black people fuck their bitches. Even though black people have no choice because their bitches suck. And I notice because I go to a school full of black chicks. If one of them is viewing this video, I'm probably going to get in trouble, but... Real talk, that's what I'd say in front of their faces, and I do all the fucking time. So the haters are supposed to kill the degenerate guys. The guys that are going to turn girls into degenerates. And a lot of celebrities nowadays are degenerate as well. I mean, who do we celebrate? Do we celebrate the people that are actually doing something innovative? No, we don't celebrate doctors, accountants, and people like that. We celebrate comedians, musicians, like me. Although, yeah. It's relatively the same talent level. Movie stars, actors. 
We celebrate those people. Ah. And those are degenerates. So they're going to get haters. And those haters would run them out of town if the degenerates of nowadays, the Omegas, didn't have that criminal class that's kind of on top for some reason nowadays. If they didn't have all those bodyguards, that's what happened. The haters wouldn't be in the, your computers at home hating away. They'd be throwing them out of town. So, in that case, people that judge me also don't, aren't really haters, because they could easily run my ass to the town. I could easily get my ass rooshed, and nobody would give a shit. There wouldn't be a crowd of people saying, free David Fawbray. There wouldn't be a crowd of people saying, free Mr. Wonka 7. That's not going to fucking happen. If they run my ass out of town, because I'm being a degenerate Omega, a criminal class... And everybody would be moving on with their own business. They wouldn't even stop to celebrate if they really disliked me. Not even that. <clears throat> and that's kind of what happens. Now, what I do when I see degenerates is I really hate them for being degenerates I don't hate them uh, there's people that dislike MLB players because they get paid a lot more than people that actually save lives even though there's a strange economic demand for that what I really do is I basically I basically call it how it is if you're a rapper and you can't rap? I'm just gonna say you suck at rap and call it like it is. If you're a guitar player and you can't play guitar, you play guitar as on the same level I play guitar, which isn't that high. Sort of like bare minimum. Then that's just what I'm gonna say. Regardless, that's how it fucking works. You make judgments and... Now what I won't do, what I won't do, is I won't say that somebody sucks because they're fucking all these hoes. You got 20 hoes on their dick, that's not how it works. I'm not gonna do it like that. If you don't wanna engage in monogamy or honest monogamy I'm not gonna fucking blame you now there is this in human civilization intent towards monogamy this is gonna be the most interesting part of my video because it's something I've been thinking about ever notice that people act more highly towards you when you're cuffed especially for high level chick than when you're not cuffed Again, monogamy is encouraged. And not just monogamy with a lot of girls. In human civilization, the people that don't get hated on are the ones that get the very best. And least. It's kind of like this gold standard behavior. Think about the chick as being the gold standard. It's not about adding on and inflating the vagina. It's not about inflating the vagina. It's about having gold standard pussy. <laughs> That's gonna be a term I'm gonna use now. Gold standard pussy. GSP. As opposed to inflated pussy. Or not inflated pussy. Artificial demand pussy. <laughs> oh, that's the corniest thing I ever said in my fucking life. But I'm fake laughing because it's building up to more awkwardness and things of that nature however I'm gonna end this video with just that
can't be a hater. Why can't I be a hater? Because I know how the game works. I'm not the naive 15 year old guy I used to be where I would basically hate on people for doing what the system is encouraging. For following, for playing the game the way it's being built. For finding a crack in the code. A glitch in the matrix. I encourage those people because you might have those people that like to try and save the world, there's people that enjoy the fall. I'd say there's as much bullshit in a world that's being that's ascending, that's seeing its golden years, or even ascending past that, going to an Uber match or a world falling in to the abyss and will eventually be replaced. World in decline, world about to collapse and be replaced with something else. <sighs> there is, so I won't hate on you for that. I'm not going to be the hater. I'm going to be the judgmental person that calls you out because I think I'm better than you. And if I think I'm better than you, then whether you want to or not, maybe you can try to prove that you're not. It won't matter because if you're a real nigga, you won't even care. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video taught you a lot about life about its secrets, about its beauty, about how, about a lot of things. Peace.